this noon. Can y'all hear me? We're trying to get okay. Okay. Go ahead. This is the meeting of the Historic Preservation Board, Denison, Texas. We'll come to order 12 noon. It's Tuesday, August 6, 2024. Present are members Kurt Chapowski, Linda Anderson, Steve Riley, and Rhonda Bourne, and myself. Do we want to start? Okay. We are ready. All right. Having no public comments, we will move on to items for con individual consideration, receive a report, hold a discussion, take action on approving the minutes from the July 2nd, 2024 meeting. I move to approve the minutes from July 2nd, 2024. Second. Motion by Rhonda Bourne, second by Linda Anderson. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Moving on to uh, item B, receive a report, hold a discussion, and take action on a request for a C of A for the painting of the storefront facade at 120 West Main Street. Thank you, and good morning. Good afternoon, I guess. This is noon. I feel like it's still good morning. morning. <laughs> um, before you today is a request for a certificate of appropriateness for the painting of the storefront facade at 120 West Main Street. This is the uh, photo that we are looking at of the current day image. And then on your right is the historic photo. This is uh, known as the O'Malley Building and is considered to be the only intact 19th century storefront remaining in Denison. I'm sure most of you have walked down that way and you're aware of the stained glass as well as the mosaic. Uh, entryway um, and the owners are joining us today and they have found the original hardwood they just informed me as well so that's very exciting uh, the building was constructed in 1898 and it does uh, retain the majority of its original features you will see on the next slide that uh, if you get up close you can see that the paint is chipping and it's just deteriorating normal wear uh, from the weather and uh, things like that. So the applicant is requesting to paint all of those pieces that are currently painted that hunter green um, and maroon color to be painted with Blue Ridge fur that is out of our historic color palette. So slightly um, a different shade, but within the same color family. Um, and staff does recommend this uh, request for approval and the applicant is here to address any questions you may have. You're welcome to come up if you'd yeah, like to address yeah, them. If not, you're good. Oh, yeah. Just need your, for the record, just your name and your address. Uh, Evan Ramsey, 922 Cleve Cole, Denison, Texas, 75021. Um, just for clarification, <clears throat> all of the wood will then be monochromatic with that one color. Correct. And my second question, do we know that those are the original stained glass windows? I looked at them and they look newer than that. I love them and of course we want them there to be certain. But um, I mean, obviously they're not in this photograph and I don't, Mary, do we, we can't date them at all. We so I uh, found that in a book and it does say the original, but I also questioned it just based on right. Mm -hmm. right. the, the construction and appearance. Right. But they're still beautiful. And I think they'll be even more so with everything the behind them, that one color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from everything that we can find, um, it has yet to be determined if they were really original, mm -hmm. like she was saying. It doesn't appear to be. Um, they are probably done in the in the 80s. It mm -hmm. could have been in the early 2000s. So. Say, how are they framed? Sorry? How are they framed? I don't necessarily no know. <laughs> that, just, that, that gives you a good clue. Yeah, we did find in the 1980s that there was a yield glass shop. Um, it was a stained glass. Yep, yep. So that could have been whenever they were installed. That would certainly be relevant information. Mm -hmm. And normally I might say, oh, I, you know, I'd like to see some detail in the trim brought out. But the more I thought about it, I really like the idea of the tile working really hard to make it beautiful as well as the windows. Mm -hmm. And you've also got the brass fixturing, which will be beautiful. Yes. It doesn't compete. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Um, and just parenthetically, the family into which I married um, is one was the 118, the Cofelt building right next oh, wow. door to you. So I have a great affection for you all. Awesome. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you for fixing it all up. Yes, we're trying. Where did you discover the new wood? 
where. Wait, yes. Did you um, hear? It's on both the second floor and the first floor. The floor. Oh, the wood floors. The wood floors, yeah. 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 And then we um, also discovered that on the second floor, um, the ceiling, that if you go back and look at pictures when the building was listed, um, at some point in time, they put, we thought it was wood, because it had a wood look to it, but it turns out it's the same material that ceiling tiles are made out of. So it was kind of like that cardboard. We thought that that was just gonna be a drop ceiling. So the plan was to just expose the rafters during our demo permit. Upon demolition, they discovered the original hardwood ceiling as well. Um, so um, we are gonna leave that as, as, as a part of the, the space. So, But yes, upstairs of original hardwood floors, um, and then downstairs, original hardwood floors as well. Discoveries are always exciting. Yes, <laughs> yes. And I know there's, I believe, currently still a residential lot upstairs that was... Uh, it's currently still zoned for residential. Um, we completely, during the demo, just took down all of the walls. They were non-load-bearing walls, so now it's just an open right. space um, that we're still going through the design process on what we want to do up there. What O'Malley's ghost think of that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hasn't been visiting at all? No, not to, not to, not, not since we've been there. I'm sure you want to hear more about that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. With no further questions or discussion, do we have a motion? I move to approve the request for a certificate of appropriateness for the painting of the storefront facade at 120 West Main Street. A second. Motion by Kurt Chikowsky. A second by Rhonda Bourne. All in favor? Aye. Aye. None opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. You can hang for the next one if you want. Or <laughs> so if you so want to take her to lunch, yeah, that's, that's okay too. <laughs> I love it. I'm <laughs> so, okay. Uh, items for individual consideration C. Receive a report, hold a discussion, and take action on a request for a C of A for the placement of a sculpture at the Crawford Street entrance of Forest Park. Um, Judith had some question about that that is that within our remit yeah I was going to address that okay yes so um, that is a good question so this is a city initiative request for the placement of the sculpture at the um, at Forest Park on the Crawford side technically the um, park is not within the historic district the other side of Crawford Street is However, uh, due to uh, it being a public space, we felt that it was most appropriate to bring this before um, all of you uh, to make sure that there's transparency, that there is an approval process for placing the sculpture at that location so close to the historic district uh, for um, reasons that we don't want others just assuming they can place something there. Now there is a process that Donna goes through um, with the design committee and the public art committee uh, to make sure that those approvals are also uh, in place. So technically you don't have to approve it, but probably uh, recommend your support um, of the city initiative request. So is that how the motion would Yep, that would, I think that would be. Yeah, that's how I was going to craft it. Okay, perfect. So I have some concern about like being involved in the <coughs> not completely your every part not on this issue, but perhaps something mm -hmm. down the road you have an issue for. And I think those will be handled on a case by case basis. This we we had several discussions on this topic with our leadership as well. So this was the direction that um, we were instructed to and that I'm okay if you are not comfortable with that what other, I just want there to be documentation what other permitting it, is going to be required Donna would you like to speak to that please so here's I guess another thought that I had mm -hmm. the fact that it is adjacent to what would be mm -hmm. under our mm -hmm. I, you, well, in retrospect I have less problem now than I might have before if, mm -hmm. if you were farther away it's sure now So maybe that's the language we need to no, add into our so ordinance. And just on all yeah. sides. Mm -hmm. And just because it's not within, but it's still <coughs> so visible and the tie with Burnett going into Forest Park and all that right. just kind of 
brings it all into the proximity. Right. Yeah, I think you did mm -hmm. not have some painting after the uh, bullet that came okay. out. Okay, I do. I do, because when I look at the diagram in the, the guide, my question was going to be is, do we own the south side of the uh, Chestnut and the north side of Gandhi, then as far as our purview, our remit for exterior for home? So those are also discussions that we've had on expanding a little bit. So I think we're going to touch upon all of those things. If we could <coughs> try to keep this to this case for right now, and then we during staff <laughs> updates, if you want to give me some direction, I'd be happy to take the lead. <laughs> So the reason that I felt like it should be brought before you is because when we created the public art policy for our downtown, and I don't think that they've adapted that like for the art that goes in Waterloo and, and areas outside of downtown. But when we created that, the policy was stated, and it didn't probably anticipate the adjacency issues. But the policy states that the art must come before our design committee who will look at it for, you know, the artist being an, a pre-approved artist and being able to do um, quality work. And then it will, um, after the design committee's approved it, it comes before this group. So I just felt like we needed to stay with that so that's why it's... What kind of type of approval does the design committee give? So, just in this case, um, written to Mary for her report. So it's somewhat of an informal process. Um, you're familiar with our, our meeting types, and so uh, we've, we've taken it, um, we have written permission that is just emailed to Mary for her okay. report. My question is, is it therefore, is a certificate of appropriateness required, or can this thing support the approval of the item immediately adjacent to the historic commercial district of downtown Denison? So to go back and answer your, your first question the first time you asked that, um, there is no other approval process aside from the certificate of appropriateness. I don't think you have building permits that are, so this is it. And so we just felt like, well, I just felt like that it followed the public art policy for, for you to consider it. And so that's, you no, know, I how it goes from there is up to you. I have a question, and you know, I've been at all the steps in this process as, it, as it's been refined. <clears throat> so I have a couple of questions about this one specifically. One, I appreciate that we're included in thinking about it at least because it is adjacent and mm -hmm. because we're anticipating that the district will grow. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to make decisions that are counter to, counter to our interests in the future. Mary says it's city initiated, it's provided by the pools, it's approved by arts council committee, or our committee of the city, right? The, our the Main Street committee. Design Main Street. Committee. Main Street Design Committee. Um, so I guess what I'm interested in, just informationally, is, is the sequencing of that. A and also, um, just it seems to be somewhat a fait accompli, even though our, our input seems to be irrelevant in the ultimate scope of it, um, but it seems to be pretty much done except for which place it's going to be, correct? But, but I did have the sequencing question. Yeah, so I, I did a diagram before um, that shows you what order that is to happen in, and I'll have to, I'll have to look at it. But it's not always done in that sequence, Don. We, did, we haven't always Correct. made sure that the design committee approves it first, just because of timing. But 
that is the order because they have to pre-approve the artist. And in this case, CASNI has done work and has been pre-approved. Um, it's the city that. initiated. So then, the, as in across the street, does the city say, we would like proposals for a sculpture to be located adjacent to the stadium? Is that the first step if you call it city initiated? So in this case, no. the, the pools commissioned it and they were working with Brian Hander, who was on the council right. at that time, and he yeah, included so Main Street and the parks in that conversation, and and so they've always been included in the conversation. Well, so then sequentially, it was initiated by the pools. So, you know, we're willing to contribute a, a public sculpture, and then it follows. So it's, it's plainly, it's just purely coincidental because I've been involved in commissions of artwork in town where the money was basically pretty much in place before the request was in place. And yes. as I say, it's just curiosity. I yeah. Think conversations, uh, I wasn't involved in the, the sculpture. That's outside of my realm of uh, responsibilities. Uh, the previous parks director did before his departure, let me know that this was in the works and that they had been included and that they were comfortable having it placed in a city park. Um, I don't know if that helps you to understand that process. Probably not. That's it. Doesn't it? Just adds another layer. Doesn't answer the question. Yeah. But the question is somewhat irrelevant because it's really, as Stephen said, it's not part of our parking in any way. Correct. It's just that having been involved in the refining of this process about public art, I guess it's just that terminology, what is city initiated? Sure. I and guess I, I'm sorry. No, you go ahead, please. I was just going to say that I get a lot of requests from different people, some thinking that we should fund it, mm -hmm. some having the funding in place, some just wanting a mural. So really, it, it's hard to say there's only two angles this could Perfect. come from. There's m a multitude of, of how it's initiated. But in this case, the, the pools wanted Thank to give that to the community, and um, the city was engaged through, for the pools. through <laughs> Brian Hander. Thank you, Donna. Thank I you, just Mary. have two comments, one tongue-in-cheek and then one serious. The tongue-in-cheek is be sure you got something whose hand can hold the axe for when it comes back. <laughs> The serious one is, is I want to make sure that um, so as we don't cause any kind of conflict that mm -hmm. the pools are happy with the design? The pools, yes. And I was made aware after the agenda went out that that is not the appropriate or the location that has been agreed upon, that it is that take that blue circle and move left to the other side of that sidewalk. Oh, so right there by the parking spot. Uh, yes, but I did walk over there earlier this week, and I can understand why. Yeah, the I mean, pom poms, people coming through there, banner sure. stuff. Um, so the pools are happy, the city's happy. Yes. And the design, the art council's happy. That's correct. And the funding's in place. That is correct. And who's going to maintain it? say that it has to be maintained for five years and that's like a mural you know they've got to exactly. commit to do that so um, I don't know I can tell you that prior practice the Casneys are um, like the guitar at, at Heritage Park they will uh, just, just take sure care of that like we do with the murals here yeah and I don't I don't know. We're working, uh, well, the previous parks director was working on a, a gifted uh, policy for public art, and um, so I don't think that's in place yet. They'll shift to but, going. Yeah, I would, I would assume the city would be since it's in a city park. I don't know how that operates. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Mary, I have a quick language question then. Sure. So, 
basically this group is after we decide how what language is going to be to support mm -hmm. this um, request this this the language regarding um, about it being adjacent to any of the adjacencies is a city ordinance issue it is not something we really need to even Correct. include in our language or include in our Correct. support necessarily. we would put that into the HP ordinance uh, like make an amendment as to what that would look like but not at this time Mm -hmm. Talking chapter 30. Correct. And the design guide. Yes. See, you're watching sausage getting made here. <laughs> I think I'm ready to take a stab at it if everybody's finished. I'll take a stab too. Okay. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> oh. All right, well, I move to support all of the Main Street entity approvals and regarding the uh, certificate of appropriateness and the placement of sculpture at uh, West Crawford Street that, oops, that the board support that decision. Move to support all Main Street entity approvals regarding the placement of the sculpture at West Crawford Street. Do you want to add, since it is adjacent to the historic commercial district if or not? If you'd like to include that, then... I, I if we're trying to limit it, mm -hmm. I, I would recommend doing that. I'm looking. At, I'm looking now at Mary. If that's you can. That's fine. I mean, the motion I mean, can state it, that. If I that think it, it indicates clarity uh, or infers clarity mm -hmm. moving forward. Should this situation happen again, it also that's reflects the, right. the discussion. Correct. Mm -hmm. Did you get that there? <laughs> okay, we have Sometimes we work together <laughs> after <laughs> these motions. So we have a motion by Rhonda Bourne and a second by Steve Riley. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, motion carries. Okay. Moving on to staff updates. Okay. Yay. <laughs> We've had a few administrative approvals, all for signage except for 507 and 509 West Main. They had some um, painting touch-ups to the alley. Um, they were having some of the windows scraped and repainted the same um, colors or the most similar from the color palette. Um, Mr. Massey did come in and ask um, what color uh, was closest from the color palette and uh, did his due diligence on uh, what was required, but it is strictly maintenance. He wasn't painting anything that hadn't been painted Routine or maintenance. touched up before, so I did go ahead and approve that. The others are just business signs, um, all, I believe, um, the window graphics. Thank you. You're welcome. So um, the new eye care in the 400? Yes. Notice that they got a new sign? Mm -hmm. We approved that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It wasn't on this wasn't one. On it was a while ago. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, we did have a gentleman that was here earlier. Uh, I had not received all of the information needed, so his item did not make the agenda. Mm. But he will be back. Next and time. is this where we tell you to please yes. work for the future about uh, uh, either further defining or providing mechanisms for items immediately adjacent to yes, sir. the current? And then for the record, I understand Roslyn has uh, um, been uh, bought out and been replaced as a consultant for, not a dedicated consultant, but as a resource that we could use for the right. future. Roslyn has been acquired by Heritage Consulting. I don't know if you're aware of that. Um, Heritage was out of Philadelphia, and then um, I believe she's based, it's Wisconsin or Minnesota or Michigan, up there somewhere now so um, but they were acquired That's which explains ball. why we've had we've seen some of those staff members depart for other firms so but that helps answer some of our questions that you've all asked before but I would still recommend the rosin consulting summary that is in our sure. book. oh yes That's we'll continue able, to use still that. is appropriate mm -hmm. yeah. absolutely and that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. 
no further discussion, we'll close this meeting at 1225. Very good.